Hello, everyone. This is Bill After in Allentown, PA. March Madness is all over Allentown. Bud Carson, sitting right over there, has gotten another great convention together. And I bumped into a real dear old friend who graced the covers of so many of the magazines that I worked for as well. The master of the full Nelson, even though superstar Billy Graham and Ken Patera would have argued that, Billy Jack Haynes, welcome to the After Chat. After, uh, well, it was it wasn't for you and George Napolitano, no, yes. you wouldn't even know who I was. Wow. You, you're the wow. guy who put me in the front cover of the magazines in 84 and 85. Well, so. Thank you, thank yeah. you. And, and I still talk to George. And, uh, yeah, those golden magazine days, um, people always tell me that they miss running to the newsstands and getting the magazines. And the, we were the Internet before the Internet was alive. Well, since I've been here, there was a guy who came by with... Uh, I don't know, 20 of the front cover magazines with me on it, with, with you and George. Yeah. And George I met yesterday also. Oh, at the big event. At the yes. big event. Yes. So it's been been a real honor for me to come here from Oregon 3,000 miles away just to meet you two guys alone, well, thank let alone you, everybody sir. else. It's great to see you too. Some of the, uh, uh, tell us where you're, uh, where you're living these days and what you're doing. Well, I retired, just retired, 65 years old. Uh, a lot of things going on. Uh, some in the media I can't talk about. No, legal, no, that's fine. Legally, no, you know. no, that's fine. But well, we're, we're talking, talk. wrestling. We're but, talking you know, your wrestling career. As far as the wrestling career is done, uh, I'm doing a lot of personal appearances now through uh, ESS Promotions, which guy's very fair Eric to me. Eric Sims, he's great, yes. Very fair. So uh, I'll be doing a lot of that. Maybe. He paid me a lot to say that, by the way. Did, yes. I was wondering where that bulge was. In yeah, the back yeah, there. really, really. <laughs> no, no, he's a good guy, and you're a good guy, and George is a good guy, and wrestling has been good to me, so I'm going to try and bring back something to wrestling that was good to me. I want to try and be good to it. So let, let's talk about the uh, the great territory days where you were. You worked, you wrestled everywhere, but you got your start in one of the territories that survived almost longer than anyone, and that was uh, Don Owens up in Portland, Oregon. Yeah, it was kind of sad to see. Don was one of the last guys to go out. Uh, we tried to work together with him with another, another league to be stronger, to keep them stronger. Right. But uh, the OWF and, uh, and Portland Wrestling combined, but it just didn't work out. Vince was too strong. Yes. Yeah. And eventually uh, he, he took over everything. Yeah. So yeah. that's just the way it goes. Uh, he, had a, he had a vision. I don't agree with it, but he had a vision. He came in and did the uh, with the unwritten rule. Right. Leave, his dad said, leave the other territories alone, Vince Sr. He didn't do it, but look what he's done. Yeah, yeah Took it it's, over. A, it's a whole new, it's an entire new business. How do you like it? I mean, you're so personally, I mean, is it better for you or worse well, for I, you? Well, I, I change with the times. You know, my, my, what I do, what I did with the magazines now has changed where I'm doing more personal appearances and conventions and uh, video shows and podcasting now. So my role has changed. But no, it, it's all been very positive, thank goodness. I'm still here. How old do you know, Bill? 73. 73. I'm yeah. 65, and George is 70, right? Yes. Yeah, I believe so. I can't speak for him. I don't know how he old he is. He told me that yesterday. He but did. We're all about the same age. Yeah. What about yeah. Bill Otten? Is Bill Otten still around? Bill Otten is still around. He's still got that uh, blonde, uh, curly hair. And he, Bill Otten, by the way, a photographer in Florida, took some of the most classic photos of you I have ever seen. Yeah, the Bill, Bill, between Bill, you, and George, you know, made my career what it, what it really you. is. Thank Honestly. you. So let's talk about when people ask the old question, greatest opponents. Uh, of course, the, all the pictures that Bill sent and the matches that I shot of you as well, of you against superstar Billy Graham. Tell us about your matches about with superstar Graham. Well, superstar was probably one of, uh, I don't know, I, he was probably one of the most charismatic wrestlers of all time. Absolutely. And the most muscular, back, especially back in the 70s, sure. in the Schwarzenegger era. And then uh, Hulk Hogan came in and kind of, I don't want to say stole the gimmick, but look, looked almost identical. Yeah. Then yeah. Billy got, went into a different gimmick, which was a kung fu deal. I remember that. And, Shaved uh, his head ball. Right. Yeah. And we had a good run there in 84. It was great working sure with him. Did. Great sure wrestler, did. great man. What about some of the other toughest opponents? Who else would you cite? To be honest with you, here's the, uh, they gave you a picture today. And this oh. is, uh, this is with Harley Race. Uh, yeah. Harley, to me, was the greatest NWA champion ever. Blair was okay, but he, if Blair called the same match almost every every match. You see the same thing with Rick. With with Harley Race, it was this. 
he, he mixed it up really well. So I thought Harley, myself, personally, was the best NWA world champion of all time. Right, and your matches against him were matches that you still cherish to this day. I do, and, and also uh, uh, Dory and Terry Funk, I, yes. I, I thought were, were good. Blair was good. It's just, it's just it Harley sticks out the most with me. Right, you know? right. Right. That, one of the things that uh, I always thought you were capable of but never got there was the NWA World Heavyweight Championship. Well, that's a long story in itself. I, n nobody knew my personal life. I kept a real secret. I know you did. And uh, it's, uh, it, it's something I'm not proud of. And it, it's going to be coming out in about nine months to a year in autobiography. So. Oh, that's great. And we will let all you fans out there know about that once that happens. Are you on social media? Right now, there's a major league lawsuit going on with the WWE, okay. and that's something I cannot even talk about. But well, we can, we'll, fans we'll can contact you through uh, Eric Sims. We, we just talked about you without you here. Yeah, you come on, come on in, of course. Eric, we were just talking about you and how financially well you took care of me to put you over. Oh, wow. It's no BS with the SS. Right. We, we all people know that. Can, people can get in touch with Billy Jack. If you want to get through Billy Jack, get in touch with Billy Jack. It's ESS. Just find me on the internet. Eric Sims on Facebook. ESS 360 on Twitter. www.esspromotions.com is the website. And uh, ESS 316 at AOL is the email. All right. I won't right. give the phone number. I don't want to be prank called. But All right. Now, before we leave, before we leave, we never... We're going to do an old school promo, okay? Tonight at Madison Square Garden, it's going to be Billy Jack Haynes against the amazing Eric Sims. So, Eric, what's going to happen in your match tonight against Billy Jack Haynes? Uh, I'm going to take him. I'm going to beat him from pillar to post, okay. and I hope I don't get that full Nelson put on me. I'm going to stay away from that full Nelson because, you know, once that full Nelson's applied, unbelievable. You can't break it. The, the match is over. So I'm going to I'm going to beat him like like the dog he is, and hope to stay away from the from the the full Nelson. Well, we need to give Billy Jack your feelings on the match tonight. Well, there will not be it won't be a match because now that he just says you're going to beat me like a dog, he'll never get out of the dressing room. I'll put the full Nelson on him there and just drop him like a dog right there. You heard it right here exclusively that's no on the After Chat. I'm running Chat now. It's ESS. <laughs> For Bill After, Eric Sims, and Billy Jack Haynes, we'll see you at the matches.